Tension in Ife, Modakeke, as protesting youth took two dead bodies to the monarch's palace. Hello, my wonderful people. Uh, things are not um, all right right now in Modakeke, Ife, as a result of some happenings. And the youths have taken, you know, the dead bodies to the palace of the monarch we in protest of some of the things that are going on saying this is not acceptable we're not accepting it we're not going to keep quiet we're not going to condole it we want something to be done and done fast you know so this is what is causing the tension in uh, ife and um, so to say uh we, we, we're keeping you up to date with all that is going on um don't forget that uh i mean when the youth speak it calls for people to listen Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Tension in Ife, Modakeke, as protesting youths took two dead bodies to the monarch's palace. There is tension in Modakeke town in Oshun State following Wednesday discovery of two dead bodies by some youths residing in the community. According to sources, the corpse of the yet-to-be-identified woman and a young male suspected to be her child spark anger as the youth have vowed to avenge the death of the deceased. It was gathered that the woman and her child were reportedly killed at Alakbata village between Modakeke and Ife by unknown assassin. It was learned that the youth anger, were angry about the incident took the dead bodies to the palace of the Ogunso of Modakeke or Ba Moses in protest vowing to pick up arms in attempt to apprehend those who committed this crime and avenge the cops. However, the monarch pleaded with the youths to allow the community leaders and police to investigate the matter. As no one is certain, everyone was unsure of what exactly was going on. The Public Relations Officer, Modakeke Progressive Union, Debo Ade Bola, confirmed that two persons were killed under, under circumstances yet to be unraveled. He said it is true that two persons were killed and their corpse found on Wednesday. The youths are very angry about the incident and have vowed to apprehend the culprits and deal with them but we don't know who this we don't know the circumstances surrounding their death or those who carried out this evil act we are still investigating the situation and by tomorrow morning we might be adequate we might have adequate information about the situation on what was on ground moreover the police public relation officer of Oshun state police YMEC, who we contracted, pleaded for time for more details of the incident to be unraveled. So this is what is happening. Um, the youths are not happy. Of course, they should not be happy. Where cops, you know, of a, a mother and a supposedly child were found. This is rather unprecedented times where people can no longer walk free, go about their duty, without being harassed, you know, uh, uh, made to face, you know, on, 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 on told suffering by these people. We, nobody knows exactly the circumstances or what has happened to these people. It, it, I mean, it's a very unsure situation. Nobody's sure exactly what has happened. Nobody's sure yet. Nobody's sure. So, I mean, it is very, very, it's, it's very, very uh, trying time. It is something that, you know, People are not very sure of, of what is going on, you see. So this is what is happening. Um, I mean, the youth have, taken, have told the monarch that they are taking arms and they are going to ensure that, you know, they get to the bottom of what exactly has happened. Who are those who committed this crime? Who are those who have um, done this unthinkable thing to these people? A mother and a child, you know. This is not time where people just, you know, uh, move around and, you know, on unwashed on, on and not you know minding what is happening in the environment because as we speak today there are a lot of persons who are after people 
you see um, and this is rather very unfortunate that our government are doing nothing absolutely nothing to ensure the safety of lives and property the governors of the southwest came together and said no more we don't want people walking around and just doing whatever they want to do you know especially open grazing you carry your cattle and we see what they've been doing how they've been you know killing people and the rest it's no longer acceptable and since then the whole of the north as though somebody rang a bell that rang into their skull you know have been on rest serious on rest saying how can they decide that they don't have the rights to decide and people are wondering like seriously what's your own if they don't want headsmen in their region they don't want it however the north is saying you must accept them listen guys this is a very very you know situation that is prevailing now and going on you know these things are happening in Oshun state not just in Oshun state you know all over people are very you know people are not happy with the current occurrence of things that have been going on people are not happy honestly speaking people are not happy Nigerians are very very unhappy you know with the way things are this administration one of the worst ever to have you know come into power one of the worst one of the very worst you see um and, and it is important that people begin to you know uh, stand up and defend the cause of what they believe in and what they and what they think is right because currently what we are experiencing is unprecedented times where people have to be very careful vigilant and um you know even the police could not tell what has happened even the police does not know what has happened you know, they're asking that and people give them more time to be able to ascertain the result of what has going, gone on and why this um, people, the mother and, the, and, and her son apparently has been killed. What kind of, what kind of, what kind of life is this? Eh? What kind of life is this? By the time investigation is carried out now, you might be surprised to find out that the people are not far from who you think they are. You see, they may not be far from who you think they are. And that's why people want out. That's why people are saying, no, 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 it's about time. Let's get our own republic. Let's let's get our own Duduwa, Oduduwa, or Biafra and get our own thing. We're tired of this uh, one Nigeria that is not working. Do you blame them? I don't. Because, I mean, with the current predicament, one is only tempted to say that, you know, if something is not done drastically, we don't know where this nation is headed. So leave us a comment. We'd like to hear from you. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.